Hey everybody, I'm Jamie Provines. I'm here today with my asparagus and tomato salad with feta. So this is a dressed up version of just grilled asparagus. That typically is nothing more than a side dish. This could actually be a beautiful salad or even a main course. So the star of the show is asparagus. Um, I've got some beautifully fresh spears here. You can tell because the tips are very tightly closed. Um, now, you could eat the whole thing if you want, but if you really want to concentrate on the best, most tender part, you actually break off the bottom third or so and you're left with uh, really the, the center cut to the, the beautiful filet mignon of the asparagus spear. So I'm going to just uh, remove those bottoms here and then you've got to put some sort of oil on these before they go to the grill. I'm actually going to do better than just oil. I'm going to put together a little bit of a vinaigrette. So on the bowl already I've got some uh, Dijon mustard, some champagne vinegar, uh, some salt and pepper and I'm going to add about oh about a half a cup I'd say of uh, good extra virgin olive oil and give that a whisk until it's emulsified. The Dijon mustard is really going to help to emulsify it. And I'm going to use a couple tablespoons of this to just lightly coat the asparagus spears. And I'm going to use the rest of this in a couple of minutes. Speaking of minutes, this is actually a very, very quick recipe. Um, it's about 10 minutes to prep all the ingredients and less than 10 minutes to actually grill them and put together the salad. So the grill has been preheated to medium heat. As you can see, I've got a grill pan on one side of the grate. I could actually grill the asparagus in the grill pan, but I have an, another set of ingredients in mind for the grill pan. The asparagus I'm going to do right on the grate. And the key here is to line them up so that they're running perpendicular to the grate so that they don't fall through. And just spread them out so that they're all in direct contact with the grate. And they're going to take somewhere between six and eight minutes total with the lid down. And now, this is what I have in mind for the uh, grill uh, pan. I'm going to use some, some little tomatoes. You could be using cherry tomatoes or these grape tomatoes are wonderful. And some cubed um, sort of country style artisan bread. And these two I will just dress with a couple tablespoons of this vinaigrette. I'm going to mix these together and put them on the grill pan. Now the grill pan, as you can see from that smoke and hear from the sizzle, is already hot. And that's really important because I want to toast the bread and um, begin to break down those tomatoes. So the skins begin to, to crinkle a little bit and we'll get a little bit of juice flowing. And that's actually going to be part of the topping for my asparagus salad. So we'll let this go a few minutes and come back and check on it soon. So after a few minutes, you just want to get in here and roll the asparagus so that they cook evenly on all sides. And also give the tomatoes and the, the bread a little turn. You can see that the bread is toasting and those tomatoes are beginning to soften a little bit. It's looking good. So this is the point I've been waiting for. I can see that the bread is getting nicely toasted. The tomatoes have little wrinkly skins and they're very soft and tender. The asparagus is charred in spots. It's, uh, it's tender but still a little bit crisp. So let me pull the asparagus off first. And then grab my tomatoes and my bread. And by the way, if you don't have tomatoes, you know, this could be zucchini, it could be chopped up mushrooms, it could be eggplant, all kinds of things. And then what I would do is just take this mixture and spoon right down the center. So you have the crispy bread, sort of a twist on a panzanella, if you know that Italian bread salad. And then give it a little bit of uh, feta cheese or any kind of cheese that you like. You could actually put a little bit of uh, hard boiled egg on here as well. I think that would be a nice touch. And then we're going to finish it with some finely chopped chives or your herb of choice, whatever you like. 
And once again, we go back to that delicious Dijon champagne vinaigrette. Spoon a little bit of that all over the whole thing. And now you've got something greater than just grilled asparagus. You've got a salad or you've got a main course. You've got something very healthy in about 10, maybe 15 minutes. So there you go. Bon appetit.